Hey everyone, how's it going? So today we're covering the Ponziani. This was requested by you, Omkaz. So good luck for your tournament. I hope you absolutely smash it. And as always, if there's anything anyone wants me to cover, ping it in the comments and I'll try and do a video on it. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. Now, the Ponziani is an E4 opening for white. It's an opening that you don't really see too much in tournaments, but it's pretty effective. And it allows for really good center control and pretty decent development of your pieces. So we've gone for the E4, they go for the E5, get your horsey, plunk it here on the F3, and they get their other horsey out and pop it here on the C6. This is an opening that we've all seen a thousand times before. Ponziani begins by getting the C2 pawn and just pushing it forward to the C3. And here we have the Ponziani. And you can imagine we're going to be getting the D2 pawn, pushing it forward to the D4 to try and get the centre. Now you can see in this position we've lost a little bit of tempo because that pawn's been pushed forward to the C3. We can't move the horsey there. But it's not the end of the world because at some point we're going to be pushing forward this pawn to the D4. It frees up that square and we can always just pop our little horsey there and have the two horses just kind of working together quite nicely there. Black has a couple of choices in this position. Normally they'll either push forward the pawn and go pretty aggressive. Um, they may go for the other pawn and push it forward to the F5. Or more often than not, you'll just see them develop their other horsey. And we'll have a little look at each of them. So, like I say, more often than not, you'll normally see them just develop their horsey to the F6. And like I said before, just get your pawn on the D2 and push it forward to the D4. And again, black has a lot of options from here. He can either take with a pawn, take with a horsey, or he may push down with his other pawn here. So again, let's have a little look at each of them. If black decides to go ahead and take with his horsey, we've essentially gone and gambited that pawn, but what we're doing is trying to get that lead in development. So get your d4 pawn and just push it forward, attacking this little horsey. And he's going to go one of two ways. He's either going to jump all the way back to the b8, which to be honest, a lot of people aren't going to do because you're moving it back to the starting position. No one likes doing that. Or they're going to move it across to here, to the e7. And works pretty well for us because we're blocking in the bishop, blocking in the queen and making it harder for him to castle off. So from here, just get your horsey and just capture this pawn. Now you can see from this position, we're not in a bad place. We've got really good movement for the queen. We've got good movement for the bishops. And yeah, um, like I say, black is a little bit down in tempo. Now it's going to be seen quite natural for black to want to try and kick out this horsey. And they may do something like pushing forward this pawn. And look at that analysis bar just shoot right up there. That's because we're going to get our bishop and pop him in check here. And black is about to have an absolutely terrible time. Um, you can see there's pretty much nowhere for the king to move, so they have to try and just block this off. He's not going to want to move his horsey back because we're just going to take. Normally, he'll push down with the pawn. And all we're going to do is capture. And you can see we're setting up for this discovered attack here. And if he takes, all we're going to do is take with our horsey, popping the pressure on the queen. Again, keeping open the option for the, this discovered attack. And if he takes with the horsey, then we just capture straight back, pop him in check, and we are getting a nice little fork on these two bad boys here. Alternatively, he might get his queen and just pop it here on the b6. And don't worry yourself about it, just get your little horsey and just bring it back to here on the d4. And what we're doing is defending the bishop and opening up this discovered attack here. And again, Black's fairly limited in his choices. He can move out of the way, so if he does, he's losing his castle and opportunities. Or he can try and block it with the bishop, and we just take, he takes back, and again, we've just opened up his entire queen side there. And you can see by the analysis bar, we are just in for such a good time here. So, coming back to this position, we know that pushing forward this pawn is a terrible idea. What if he pushes forward with the f6? Well, you can see the analysis bar didn't really like that. It's not quite as fancy as the last one, but all we do is just... Bring back your horsey back here to the C4. And you can see his horsey, it's not doing anything. It's just kind of hanging out in the breeze there. He's damaged his king side safety. More than likely, he's going to have to castle off to the queen side. But 
everything's kind of blocked in at the moment. It's going to take him a good few moves before he can get to any kind of safety there. And we have so much wonderful movement with all of our pieces. Um, White's just in a loads better position here and loads more developed. Now, really the best move for Black in this position would be to get his horsey and put it here on the G6. What we need to do is be nice and aggressive. Don't bother taking it just yet. Just get your queen and just push it up here to the d4. Putting on plenty of pressure onto this horsey here. Normally black will bring out their queen and you can see it's getting a little bit congested around here. So what we want to do is just go for the exchanges. So we take their horsey, they take our horsey, we take the queen they take back, and we're left in this kind of position. Um, while it's tempting to get your bishop out, um, I would just bring out your horsey first. Um, they tend to push forwards just to try and keep a little bit of centre control and keep this horsey nice and safe. And then just bring up your horse to the c4. And if he takes, that's absolutely fine. We just bring out our bishop. But you can see from this position, it's just pretty much even Stevens here. Now, another variation in this position that I want to just have a quick look at, because it is really cool. It doesn't always play out the way you want it to. It's hyper-aggressive and it can very easily go wrong. But um, getting your horsey and just taking that pawn. So what they'll do is bring their horsey across to the G6. And what we're going to do is get our bishop and just pop on the pressure onto this horsey here. And what we're wanting them to do is to take this pawn. Now, it might look like a bit of a strange move, but what they want you to do is to take with your king, and then you just see that analysis bar drop, and all they're going to do is just start chasing you around like so. And we are in for a terrible time if we do that. So, we're not going to take with our king. What we're going to do instead is capture this horsey with our bishop. And, yep, we've lost our queen. Oh, dear. But don't worry yourself about that. Pop him in check. He's forced to move, and from here, we're essentially just playing racy chasey with the king around the board. So, get your bishop out to g5, pop him in check, he moves out the way. Move your horsey back to the c4, pop him in check again. He's forced to move down here to c5, get your other horsey out, just getting these guys working together there. He'll probably just come down with his queen and just take that hanging bishop. Don't worry yourself, just get your pawn, push forward, and checkmate. Happy days. Again, this is hyper aggressive and it can go wrong, so just be very, very careful. Now, we've looked at what will happen if Black decides to move his horsey across to here. What if he does decide to, you know, bring it back and put it back in the starting position? Well, just get your bishop and just plunk it here. Uh, I know we haven't taken that yet, but don't worry, we are going to get it. We're just going to keep developing as normal. They're going to want to try and defend this pawn, and normally they'll either push forward with one of these pawns. So let's just say they push forward with the d6. Look at that analysis bar. All we're going to do is get your queen, pop them in check here, and you can see we've got the check, and we're essentially just getting ourselves a nice free horsey. And it doesn't really matter what he does, I mean, just so he'll come across. Normally he'll do this, try and attack you, and we just swing across, and there we are. Got yourself a free horsey. Just bringing it back, just say instead he decides to go with the f6 pawn. Well, all we're going to do is get your horsey and take. Looks a bit of a strange move because, yep, we're just giving up our horsey. But watch this. Boom, put him in check. He has to move the king. He can't block it with anything, so he's now lost his castle on opportunity. And we swing back, put him in check again. He has to move out the way. And we've got ourselves a horsey as well, and we are massively more developed in this position. Alright, so bringing it back to this position, if he decides to capture with his pawn, then just push your pawn forward to the e5. And he's going to have a couple of choices of where to move. He could move down to here, he could jump to here, um, or you may see him, more often than not, come down to the e4. If he does, just get your queen and just pop it here on the e2, popping on the pressure, and he's probably going to want to try and keep it safe. Uh, if he pushes down with either of these pawns, then all you do is just take with the on pass on again if he keeps trying to defend the position then all we're going to do is capture he'll take back 
and then we can just take back with the pawn. And we're in pretty lovely position here. You can see the analysis bar likes it. The horse is pinned here. We've got good movement with our other pieces. And yeah, we're in for a pretty good time. If he decides to come down the other way, then again, on pass on the other way. And again, we are nice and pinned. He comes down with his pawn, d5, just to try and protect it. And again, just capture and if he takes back that's fine we just take back again and we can always i mean normally he's probably going to uh, capture from there if he doesn't then just look at pushing forward the pawn he takes and then he's lost his castle and opportunities if he decides to push down and take with his horsey then just get your bishop and just plunk it here on the d3 keeping plenty of pressure on this horsey he'll normally come down and want to just keep it defended and from here get your horsey come up and take the pawn uh, you can do a little exchange here then normally he'll get his bishop out uh, both these guys just working together on this f2 pawn and just castle off to safety and you can see by the analysis bar pretty even position from here all right, so one of the last variations I want to look at is if he pushes forward with this pawn here. All you're going to do, just get your bishop and just slide it up here, just getting on the pin. And you can see this horsey is going after here, and it's also defending this pawn. So pinning it to the king is always a really, really good idea. And if he decides to take, that's absolutely fine. Um, don't worry about taking back just yet or anything like that. Just push forward that pawn trying to move this bad boy out of the way. So normally you'll see him bring his horsey just down here, and all we're going to do is just capture this pawn with our horsey. And you can see we have the horse and we have the bishop both working together, putting a lot of pressure on this guy here. Because obviously if we get a take, he takes back and then we take back again. So normally you'll see something like this. And from here, just castle off to safety. And we're in a pretty even position from here. And normally you'll find they'll capture that pawn. We go ahead and we take. And they'll either capture back with the queen or take back like so. And yeah, pretty even position from here. If he comes and he captures the other way, as before, just get your horsey, come up, take that pawn. And both of you is putting plenty of pressure on here. He might try to kick you out of the way, and that's fine. You can either shimmy it back and just try and keep the pin on, or you can just take. And once he takes, and he takes, you can see we have the doubled pawns here. We've essentially got a free pawn there if we want, but to be honest, I would just bring out my queen and just pop it here on the A4. Just getting these guys just all working together, putting plenty of pressure down here on the queen side. And you can see we've still got good castle and opportunities there. Um... Our pawns really nicely defending each other. Got good movement for the bishop. And yeah, we're just in for a much better game here. And if black does come down this way with, and capture with his horsey, just come up with yours, capture that pawn. And normally he'll want to do something like, you know, bring out his bishop. And to be honest, we can just do the exchange. So we take. He takes. And you end up in a bit of a position like this. And he's got his doubled pawns there. We're going to look at Castlin off this side. And yeah, we've got really good movement for the rook. We've got good movement for the queen. Um, we can get our bishop out easy enough. And like I say, he's got these doubled pawns. We're just in a bit of a better position. Uh, I know the analysis bar says that it's even. But like I say, with those doubled pawns, it's not great for black. It's not terrible, but it's not ideal. Just quickly coming right back to the very start of the Ponziani, uh, one that you'll tend to see uh, quite often is pushing forward that d5 pawn. And all we're going to do is get the queen and just plop it right here on the a4. Just pinning the horsey to the king there. Uh, normally from here you'll see you know, a fairly aggressive move like uh, the queen out to the d6. And from here just develop your horsey to the a3 what we're looking at doing here is plopping it up to here and putting on the pressure here uh, normally you'll find they'll just develop as normal you can see there's a lot going on down on this pawn here so this is where we bring up our horsey and you can see we're attacking the queen and we're looking at getting this fork on the go as well so he'll have to move it out of the way uh, normally just bring it back to the a7 uh, we still need to bear in mind about this pawn we don't really want to lose it so just push forward your pawn um, just in case he goes to take and from here all we're really going to be looking at doing is you know 
know, getting this bishop out at some point, castle him off to the king's side. We can get this bishop out any time we want, you know, get a little pin in there if we want to. Um, yeah, we're not in a bad position. If he moves this queen out of the way at any point, you know, somewhere like here, then obviously we're just going to be jumping in. Um, but I very much doubt that he's going to do that. But yeah, fairly straightforward, fairly even game from this position. If instead of bringing out the queen, he decides to bring out his bishop, which to be honest, you're probably going to see more often than not. Uh, we need to be very well aware of uh, this. Uh, so we could just take that pawn. He might jump out of the way down to here. Looks like he's hanging his horsey, but he's not, obviously, because he's got this discovered attack on the go. Just bring your queen back, just to get it back into safety, and just keeping an eye out for him taking. Obviously, if he takes, then we just take back with our queen. But yeah, essentially, that is the Ponziani. There is loads of lines and variations. We'll be here all day if I covered all of them. But that's the main kinds of things that you're going to be seeing. Uh, you can see the kind of main features that we're looking at. Uh, but yeah, go off, have a little go of it, play some games, and have some fun. Uh, again, as always, if there's anything that you want to see, just ping it in the comment section, and I'll try to cover it. But you guys take care. Bye!